I'm very excited because we are going to hear incredible music of German composer Robert Schumann, his piano quintet. Piece which requires four string players and the pianist. Their collaboration is incredible. It's so unique, especially in this piece. It's so well balanced. When you are going to hear it, you're going to notice that each of the instruments has the moments of the solo. Sometimes two different instruments are playing the same melody. Nevertheless, it's all incredible cooperation and harmony. Schumann wrote his piano quintet in 1842. Himself being a concert pianist, he created a piano part absolutely dazzling. And of course, matching string parts are unique and incredibly artistic as well. This piece truly represents Schumann's personality, his romantic personality. Schumann had a complex character. There are moments of exuberant joy and energy, but there are coming moments of sadness and lyrical, sentimental pause. Tonight's performance is going to feature five incredible musicians representing five different cultures and traditions, as well countries. United States, China, South Korea, even Poland, and as well Mexico. That's the power of music, the most universal language which brings different personalities from all over the world, but at the same time allows them to communicate and makes us all excited and happy. Fantastic performance. Let's enjoy it.
I'm Joseph Garcia, Director of Clinical Services at South Texas Health System Behavioral. Having played a string instrument for many years and maintaining a close connection to the orchestra thereafter, music has been an important part of my life. The ongoing coronavirus pandemic and the various hardships our community has faced has proven to be challenging to our mental health beyond those with pre-existing mental health disorders. The direct and indirect impacts of the pandemic have left many with mixed feelings and emotional distress. Music is an effective resource in reducing depression and anxiety while promoting increased happiness. Whether listening to your favorite song, the score of your favorite movie, or watching a theatrical production, the sights and sounds of the arts aid in our mental and emotional wellness and recovery. There are many health benefits to listening to or creating music, from stress relief to the management of chronic pain, decreasing insomnia, and improving motivation Music is a feel-good, mood-enhancing, and expressive way to make our days brighter. As our community continues to come together to combat the ill effects of isolation, loneliness, and loss associated with COVID-19, remember that music not only moves us and motivates us, but brings us together and can make us feel good again. While doing what we can to stop the spread and care for our community, we are also encouraged to take care of ourselves. If you begin to notice changes in your mood or behavior, or if you feel overwhelmed with a mixture of emotion, don't delay care. Reach out to someone and seek the assistance of a licensed mental health professional. South Texas Health System would like to thank the community, including frontline workers, first responders, and healthcare heroes who have played a role in the betterment of our health and well-being during these trying times.
So this piece um, by Schumann, it's really one of the first piano quintets of the genre and it really set an example for future composers. And what's really interesting I think about this one is its kind of exuberant character and it's a very extroverted piece. Considering um, if you and know anything about Schumann's life, you know, later on he, he was mentally ill and all these things and was eventually institutionalized. And even you can hear that in his music and, you know, since I'm a cellist, one of the last pieces he wrote was the cello concerto, which compared to something like this quintet, I would say is not as accessible. In, in terms of you know melodic content and following lines throughout the group. But this piece for me, you know, personally this is the first piano quintet I ever studied when I was in school. And I've you know it's very popular. It's something you hear all over the place. I think I've this is now maybe the seventh time I think I've played it. So I, I think this is a very it's a very crowd pleasing work in that sense and it's very easy to absorb by the audience. It's very catchy. It's kind of it's not sad, but it's kind of serious. And so he starts playing the, the melody and then I respond. 
and then all of a sudden the light comes out and it's just beautiful it's really something to to experience and and really you know it takes your breath away there isn't any cheesy moment you know that's that's the thing sometimes in romantic music you can it, it can start to sound like you know movie music right and so I, I like there's like this sweet spot in the romantic era where you know the composers are very authentic and sincere and yet they're very emotional and expressive so it's for me this music is part of that era and that sweet spot when you play Schumann um, you see the two sides of the story something that's very energetic something that's super fast and outgoing and then you see the other part that's kind of more introverted, more serious. And so definitely you can hear the contrast between the second and the third movement. The second is so serious and then you see the light and then it comes back again. And then the third is just vivacious. It's super energetic. So that's the big contrast because it's such a big piece. It's probably one of the most important piano quintets in the romantic period. Um, this is the first time I've played it. I've always heard it, I've always wanted to play it, and it's, it's just great. It's like a, it sounds very full all the time. The piano is just, the piano part is quite difficult, and I think the composer did a great job at merging the quartet with the piano. Just having that grouping of instruments, and as you go forward in time, you have people like Brahms and Dvorak who wrote very large-scale piano quintets. So. Um, Really, that, that's really how he kind of influenced this genre and almost kind of established it as a very serious genre in music of something that future composers could write for.
We're here at the McAllen Performing Arts Center for the last in what has been an incredible series of digital concerts this year. These concerts have been something really special and groundbreaking for us as we've been able to deliver music to thousands of people across the valley in a time where we've all needed it most. So these concerts have been extraordinary and they've only been possible because of support from you and our community, our sponsors, our donors, our patrons. So thank you so much for your support. We hope you enjoy tonight's performance. Um, the year's not over yet and we're ready to come back next year better than ever. So uh, if you enjoyed the concert, please go to valleyorchestra.org, learn a little bit more about us, and if you can, donate. Thank you so much.
Thank you.